I was appointing you. Thank you. Thank you. Sir, let me explain what has happened between 2006 and 2025, ever since the program was started. In 2006 and 7, when the UPA government has started, the budget allocation was 11,000 crores. And by the time you retired, it was 33,000 crores. After the NDA government came, the budget this year is 87,000 crores. Once again, let, let me answer. Please let me answer. Let me answer. Let me, sir, please let me answer. In during COVID time, in during COVID time, the government of India, under Modi ji government, listen to me, please. You answered, you asked the question I answered. Let me answer. No, listen. No, 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 I'm coming. Please, listen. During the COVID time, during the COVID time, which is... Mane Mantri ji. Which is 20... Mane Mantri ji, please address here. No address here. Sorry, sir. This, sorry, this is my first time. But during COVID time in 2021, the budget estimate was 61,000 crores. However, this budget estimate was happened during February and March. At the end of March, COVID happened. And the government of India has spent 1,10,000 crores. <laughs> 50,000 crores more money than ever in the history of India within within few months because of Modi ji's big heart and the government policies. Number two, listen to me. Number two, number two. Please listen. See, see. If you want to have an intellectual discussion, I'm happy to answer all of your questions. Have an intellectual discussion. Number two, number two, ever since, ever since, every year the budget estimate, the budget estimate is 70,000 crores and the revised estimates and the released take, amounts take, were more take, than 98,000 crores. Please, take me, take me, please, please, one minute, please, one minute, please, one minute, please, 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 जब माननीय मंत्री जी जवाब दे रहे हैं और पूरे तथ्य के साथ आंकड़ों के साथ रिपोर्ट कर रहे हैं अगर वो गलत आंकड़े दे रहे हैं तो आप मुझे लिख के दें अगर वो आंकड़े सही बता रहे हैं आप उस पर ऑब्जेक्शन नहीं करें बीच में नहीं बोले उनको पूरा जवाब देने दो नो गलत नो गलत नो ओके सर लेट मी कंटिन्यू Compared to the budget estimates, revised estimates, that means the states ask for more money, are usually at least 10 to 20,000 more crores than any given year. Despite of that revised estimates, we release another 3 to 5,000 crores more money. So in a sense, we're releasing right now close to 90,000 crores. The reason it went down from 1,10,000 crores to 90,000 crores is because of the COVID anomaly that cannot be considered as the consistent pattern. If you look at any given year from 2006 to 2019 to 2024, every year there is at least 10 to 20,000 crores more budget allocated. Number two, the question you asked, the average wages. The wages at the time of UPA government was fixed at minimum wage of 100 rupees per day. Since the NDA government came, we adjusted the wages based on the CPI, Consumer Price Index for Agricultural Labor. Over the last five years, on an average, we increased 7% and a cumulatively 43% wage increase. The states like Karnataka and the Kerala, right now the average is average wage is 350 rupees, and this is a fact. <laughs> So, the facts, what they said, the wages are going down 100 rupees or something is factually incorrect because there is a formula for inflation adjustment. And the facts that they mentioned that the funding is going down is also incorrect. Thank you. Reduce. As I said earlier, the budget has not been reduced. And in fact, every year, 
there is 10 to 20,000 crores more of budget is being allocated. Number one. Number one. You asked me, let me answer. You asked me, let me answer. You asked me, let me answer. Number two. Number two. Why certain things happen, sir? In 20... In every year, the way the budget is done is in, it is a consultative process. Secretary of the RD and all the state secretaries sit together and they estimate this budget based on the previous year's work. And if you look at there are some states that will do differently. For example, in 2022, a state of Uttar Pradesh with 20 crore population has asked for 10,000 crores. And a state of Tamil Nadu with a population of 7 crores has asked for 10 crore, 10,000 crores. And in the next year, 23-24, the state of Uttar Pradesh asked similarly maybe a 500 crores more. Whereas Tamil Nadu asked for 2,500 crores more, which is 25% more. So, when these things happen, when these things happen, there will be anomalies, they will be corrected. But at the same time, despite them asking 2,500 crores, the government of India, Modi ji has given those 2,500 crores extra money, sir. Yes. So it is not true that we are not giving. Number two, you asked me job deletion cards. Job deletion cards is a function of the state government. Central government has no real job deletion. So the way job deletion will happen, if there are fake applicants, duplicate applicants, or if that village becomes urbanized, or if the person moves from one gram panchayat to another gram panchayat, that's when the job cards will be updated and deleted. And again, it is the responsibility of the state and it is not a center's responsibility. There are not that many pending liabilities for any given state. For the entire country, what I see is 700 crores of liability. For Andhra Pradesh, it's coming around 150 crores. And again, as I said earlier, this is a dynamic process. Every day, the money will be go going to respect to state, depending on the state, whether it is 10 crores or 20 crores. So there is nothing that's pending, but whatever is pending will be cleared, usually within two to three days. Thank you. Question number 108 ko bhi club kiya jata hai. Question number 108. 